Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. This video is going to be a pretty simple one, but this is mainly for those that are trying to learn how to mine Radiant, Nexa, or Dynex. I'm going to show you three different coins here. I have a bunch of rigs here. I'm going to show you the examples, how to do it in the flight sheet, how to update your Hive OS rigs, especially if you're on an older kernel, because uh, there are some issues for those that are on older kernels that it may, it may not mine. Also, if you're on an older NVIDIA driver, you're going to have to want to update to the newest one. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because more so I've seen a lot of people asking Red Panda, how do you do this? How do you do that? And it's because it's essentially profitable. You can see the past seven days, Radiant, Nexa and Dynex have been really prominent more so recently. And of course, Caspa as well. Caspa has been a coin that has been really nice and has pumped recently, but more so looks like a lot of people want to mine Radiant, Nexa and Dynex. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it in today's video. I'll make sure I have a timestamp below per coin and whatnot and I'll show you which mining software to use as well. All that good stuff. OK, so let's begin first. For those that want to mine these three coins, you want to make sure you are on the latest Hive OS version kernel. All right. For more so, a lot of people are probably on older versions of their kernel. And so, and also older NVIDIA drivers as well. So how to update both of these at the same time without even doing much is you're just going to go at the top to run command at the top of your Hive OS bar here and type in Hive replace dash Y dash S. And that's it. And hit run. Okay. That's all you have to do. I before actually, before you do that, I would probably stop all of your rigs. Okay. So you can do that by go to minor actions, stop minor. So a really easy way to hop update all of your rigs at the same time is to highlight select all here, go to run command and do hive dash replace dash Y dash S run. So that will then run on all of your hive OS rigs. If you have one or multiple and it will take, it will take a good 10 minutes or more, depending on your internet connection, depending on if you have USB sticks, if you have SSDs, it'll be, it'll be just fine. Uh, if you have a slow internet connection, it'll take much longer. So just be mindful. Just let it go. Don't restart the rig while it's doing it. It's going to take a good 10 minutes or more because it is a big file that it has to download and uh, install and all that good stuff. So once that's done, it's not only going to update the kernel version. So right now I'm on 5.15.0, uh, HiveOS number 96. I was actually on version 5.10 before and Dynex would not mine for me. Uh, for SRB miner and it also updated to the latest Nvidia driver as well okay 525.89.02 and I was able to then use the latest SRB miner which is for mining Dynex 2.2.4 uh, and so let's talk about Dynex first then we'll get into Radiant and then we'll get into Nexa okay I'll make sure I have it all time stamped down below so let's go first so there are actually two different Dynex miners okay one zero minor and also SRB minor multi 2.2.4. I've been having better luck with SRB minor and uh, I know one zero minor just came out a couple days ago, but SRB minor two days ago actually just came out with a new update as well. So I'll be showing you guys a example on my 30 series rig, which is mining on Dynex right now on the latest SRB minor. Okay, you guys can see my hash rates here. I'm getting, looks like my 3080 Ti is doing really well at 3.0 kilohash at about 127 watts. Going down, typical 3070, I'm getting about two, almost two kilohash at 64 watts and going down, yeah, 3050. G, RTX 3050 is getting 855 uh, hashes at 37 watts. That's, that's actually amazing. That's actually amazing. But anyways, now you want to see how we did that. Okay, so flight sheet. So we open this up and hit edit okay so i have the dynex coin in the flight sheet the wallet i'm actually mining to uh, trade ogre now some people may have reservations about this it doesn't matter but for me i'm just mining to trade ogre and just selling it right away into B trading it into btc right away so you can see with if you want to do that you're going to have to put in the you know deposit address and also the payment id so make sure you have a uh, period OK, in between the deposit address and the payment ID in order for it for you to get a deposit uh, into your trade ogre. So I can show you here. I have verified that it does work and I'm getting, you know, my payment, my Dynex into my trade ogre just fine. OK, so just to tell you guys that now how to do the flight sheet, the rest of the flight sheet, I did configure in minor. And then, of course, we're going to click on SRB minor multi. So then we have to go to set up minor config. And we're going to do Dynex algorithm wallet is just, you know, 
percentage sign wallet because he already entered it in before. Worker name, I don't put worker name because that actually, I've been getting errors uh, doing that. I don't know if some of you guys have been seeing that as well, but I don't put in the worker name. I put in the pool, dynex.neuropool.net, colon 19331. That's the pool I'm mining to. I did password X. And then now here we have the extra parameters. This is very important. Okay, so for my 30 series rig, I have not fine tuned it perfect, but I got general overclock numbers from hashrate.no. This is a great resource of a website, I'm not sponsored by them in this video, but I will show you. You know, this is where you can get generally your overclock numbers for your GPU. So, for example, I just clicked on a 3090 and here we can click on the specific algorithm that you want to mine said coin. So Dynex, for instance, I was able to see that, oh, you know, requires 300 megahertz core offset, 1470 megahertz, 5001 memory clock lock and uh, power limit 350. But I did a general overclock setting. I think it was for my 3070 TIs. And I just used that for all of my GPUs on this 30 series rig. So this is the settings that I'm using. Okay. And so for instance, if you do decide to copy from hashrate.no, uh, in most cases, sometimes they will have an, a place where you can just copy it. For example, if we click on Caspa, we can you know copy for BZ miner or LOL miner. But uh, with the SRB miner, I had to put in it myself. So dash dash GPU clock, all these parameters you guys can see here, I'm not gonna go through it. Uh, this is what I had to use, the CPU sync, uh, disable CPU sync as well. And of course the Malob endpoint. All right, so I have all of these parameters here for my 30 series card. Apply changes and that's it. And you should be good after you also update your HiveOS rig. So this is what I'm getting for my 30 series rig. Now let's go to actually my, uh, I have another 20 series rig on Dynex as well. Okay, this is uh, my 2080 Ti is getting 2.5 kilo hash at 117 watts. So that's, that's really good. And my other 20 series cards are also pretty amazing. I think my 2060 six gigabyte is better than my A2000s, which I'll show you here right now. My A2000s are getting 1.1, 1. 1, 1 point, yeah, almost 1100 hashes at 42 to 44 watts. But my 2060s, all right, my 2060 here is getting 12, uh, 1245 hash at 40 watts. This is the one with Samsung memory. This 2060 six gigabyte card is actually really good. And of course, profitable at this point in time. We'll see how long it lasts. But anyways, I'll show you the flight sheet for my 20 series rig, just in case anyone wants to see. Freeze frame this. I'm using a little bit different uh, core clock offset. And uh, I think generally, generally everything else is the same, okay? So I'm just using that for all of my 20 series cards that you can see right here, okay? Okay, so that's Dynex, all right, everybody? In case you guys are wondering how to do it, that's how to do it, SRB miner, and it works just fine. Now, let's get into the next coin, Radiant, okay? So the only miner I like right now for Radiant, and I think it's the only one, is BZ Miner. BZ Miner just came out with an update just recently, four days ago, and it looks like they have improved efficiency hash rate for Radiant, Nexa, and also Caspa as well. Okay, but anyways, going back here to my Radiant rig. So I have three different rigs I'll show you. I have a 3070 Ti rig, which is mining Radiant right now. So 730 mega hash at about 60 to 70 watts. Show you guys the flight sheet I have here. So very easy as well. So you do the coin Radiant, you put in your own wallet, you can mine wherever you want. I'm doing Vipor.net, you can choose the pool that you'd like. I go to setup miner config. Now this is where you do want to add in extra parameters. Okay, right here. So I took the numbers for radiant off of hashrate.no. All right, I haven't specifically fine tuned them to the best of my ability, but generally here, this is where for BZ miner, uh, you can copy these parameters here. Okay, so if you do decide that to do that for your specific GPU, you can then uh, paste that in to here. Now, when you do that, you are going to have an error. Okay, make sure you space them out. You pr press enter before the dash here, uh, before the dashes for the parameters. Okay, then no, you're not done yet. You're going to have to minus out your backspace these spaces uh, after each of these parameters so that you don't have this error. So if we do that for all of them, backspace, backspace, and uh, backspace here. And in BZ Miner, they don't take the dashes, okay? So you gotta minus these out, and then you have to put in uh, these quotations and also a 
uh, colon as well okay so make sure you do that for all of these commands these parameters okay it's very important or else uh, bz miner will cause an error and you <laughs> you will not be able to mine okay so just like that and then look at that the error is gone of course i don't need these because i've already placed it in myself already so these are the parameters you guys can copy these if you'd like uh, this is for my 3070 ti's though uh, so you're going to have to do the ones that will make sense for you, okay? So you make that flight sheet, and then you apply it to your rig, and it's going to go pretty good. So other uh, rigs here, I have 3060s that are mining radiant, going 425 mega hash, uh, around 46 to 51 watts, not bad. And uh, here's my flight sheet as well. Oh, I'm using the same flight sheet, actually, for my other, uh, with my 3070 Ti rig. Actually, yeah, these are all working for all of my rigs. Like I said, I haven't really fine-tuned it to the best, but uh, generally, I am okay with that. And I have a 3070 rig on Radiant, almost getting 700 mega hash at around 66 to 70 to 75 watts ranges. Silicon lottery, of course. Okay, so that's that's Radiant. Very easy to do. Very easy to mine using BZ Miner. Now, the last coin I want to show you guys is Regal Miner. Okay, so this is for Nexa. Uh, looks like yesterday, uh, just as of recording, they have a, a little bit of a minor performance efficiency improvement. Okay, so for mining Nexa, I have two examples here, 3060 Ti rig and a 3070 rig. Okay, so I'm getting about 76 mega hash at about 121 to 130 watts. Uh, silicon lottery, of course. So now the flight sheet, how to do it. Again, very easy. Want to make your flight sheet for Nexa, uh, put in your Nexa wallet and uh, configure in Miner. All right, uh, this is where I'm doing the extra parameters for Regal Miner. Uh, I had to do Nexa Pow, of course, and then your wallet dot worker name. X and then the pool I put in the, the mining pool that I'm mining to meant there's many next mining pools out there and then I am doing these extra parameters here okay so hashrate.no does I believe have a regal miner on nexa for the nexa for 3070 ti for instance yeah they have the settings for regal miner they have one for lol miner they also have it for bz miner uh, as well for mining Nexa, but I'm using Regal Miner. I seem to like Regal Miner. It looks like it works best for me. Uh, some people say LOI Miner might be better or BZ Miner. The results may vary. You guys will have to try it out, but uh, sim similar way, just copied it, pasted into the extra config arguments. Again, the same thing. Press enter to uh, move these parameters down. Make sure you backspace the spaces. Okay, there's gonna be ghost spaces here that you'll wanna remove. And yeah, that will then work. Okay, so uh, I already have it here. But yeah, this is what uh, it will look like for the extra config arguments for mining Nexa for my 3070 rig. Okay, so you guys can see there. I also have another example here. 3060 Ti mining rig, which is mining X at about 63 mega hash at about 100 to 115 watts for each of these cards. So another thing to note is if you are wanting to mine these three different coins, okay, or any of these coins, it's interesting to note that Nexa is a little bit more power hungry, or it is more power hungry. I would say it's kind of on par with Flux, mining Flux. And, uh, but Dynex and Radiant, it's just like similar to Caspa, very low power consumption for these two coins, okay? But Nexa is gonna be a little bit more power consumption overall for the whole rig versus, you know, Dynex or Radiant. Okay, so example, my, uh, let's see, 3070 rig versus my other 3070 rig that's mining Radiant. You can see this house heater one mining Nexa is taking almost 739 watts, but my other 3070 rig, which actually has two more 3070s, the rig as a whole is taking only 566 watts. So you can see the power difference there, but you're gonna have to go to the hash rate dot, you know, NO calculator here, put in your numbers, see how it is generally, how profitable if you care about that, that is. Okay, so there you guys go. I'll show you all the different miners. We're mining those three specific coins on Hive OS for those that are wondering. And yeah, seems to be good for now. We'll see how long it lasts, but uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, if that helped you at all, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.